Hello, I am Janelle and welcome to my channel. Today we'll be asking your guys, should you wait for your specific person or should you just move on? Before getting started, if you would like a personal reading, make sure you head to my website, joybyjanelle.com, where I offer readings and other manifesting tools. Also, if you have come looking for one of my meditations, they are all currently located on my Patreon. So if you would like to listen to any of my meditations, get access to my future meditations, get access to my readings early, or get any extra readings um, that are too juicy for YouTube, make sure you head to my Patreon linked in the description box below. Okay, now let's begin Your first card is the Wheel of Fortune. So this card is letting you know change is coming in for you. And this change will bring about great fortune and success for you. Everything that you have been trying to manifest is coming to you. And this will be your new beginning. This is your fate. So whatever is about to happen is going to be your fate. Uh, the next card that you have is the nine of cups reverse this means that you are about to end a heartbreaking cycle this is the end of the emotional turmoil that you are going through with your person uh, your person is about to be more authentic and genuine with you they were emotionally unstable, unstable and unavailable before. And it looks like they had more of an avoidant type of personality when it comes to their relationship with you. And that is all about to change. They are going to begin to let their guard down and let you see the true them. You know, they were disappointing you before and breaking your heart before. And that's all about to stop. That's all about to come to an end. And that emotional roller coaster that they were putting you through is about to end as well. Uh, your next card is the Ten of Swords reverse. So it looks like they will be definitely worth the wait. Um, you can see that this person has been stabbed several times in the back. So this person has been through a really rough battle. Um, they have gone through a lot and this card being in reverse means that the battle is over the turmoil is over the struggle is over um, and things are about to get better in the bad time the war time is over both of you really are going to be working on healing this relationships and coming back together uh, the resistance that you both had previously will be ending and this also signifies being a survivor no matter what you have gone through previously in this relationship it is going to survive it's going to make it to the end Next, you have the star reverse. I am seeing that you are having a lot of reverse energy right now um, in this reading. So I'm getting that you're feeling a little blocked. Um, it seems that this time has been challenging and trying to figure out um, whether or not this relationship is even worth fighting for. Um, but you are going to have to release some of these blocked energies um, that you're feeling right now. That's the only way this relationship is even going to make it is if you release some of these energies and let some, I feel like you're you're kind of like holding on to a grudge against your specific person, but you, you can't hold on to this grudge and also manifest them back into your life so you're gonna have to let it go and you're gonna have to like release it so that you can build that new foundation with them 
So the star reverse, this is your guys telling you, do not lose faith or hope in the universe. Do not feed into this energy of despair that I'm getting from this reverse energy. You need to go back to that optimism you once had um, about your relationship. Start connecting with God, universe, divine source, whatever you want to call it, and start trusting it more and having faith in it. This also represents the calm after the storm. Going back to that Ten of Swords, the battle is finally over and you are now picking up the pieces and rebuilding. Um, so, you know, I want to when we talk about that, I want to talk about, you know, I live in Louisiana and currently we are in this hurricane season and anyone who has experienced hurricanes um, know that the time after the hurricane and after everything um, can be really, it can be a lot of mixed emotions because um, you're like thankful that, you know, you and your family probably survived, you know, what happened. But you also can feel very like distressed if like your home was damaged or property was damaged or you lost a loved one or it, all of those things like so you feel a lot of mixed emotions um because of all of these things you know you feel relief that you're safe you feel gratitude but you also feel like disappointment and sorrow and sometimes frustration when you're trying to like pick up the pieces and you're dealing with things like insurance companies or trying to find water or trying to find food like you you're gonna deal with a lot after after a trying a battle like that or in my case hurricane season stuff like that so what you're going to go through right now um when getting this relationship is going to feel like you're you're picking up the pieces after a devast devastation you know you're going to have a lot of mixed emotions you're going to be happy to be with your person but you're also going to you know feel you're going to keep going back to the past and you're going to feel like those past emotions. You're going to be sad about the times that y'all missed together. You might feel like a little regret and you might feel like anger with them um, because they took so long to like, you know, be this person that you really needed them to be. Um, and it's also going to feel a lot of mixed emotions because it's hard building a brand new relationship and this is essentially what you're going to be doing with your specific person you're going to be building a brand new relationship it's not going to be like how it was before and sometimes it's going to feel like it's impossible and you may like lose hope but this card is symbolizing not giving up that hope not giving up your faith that the universe or god is is gonna make miracles happen and your needs will be met um even when you are going through trying times in this relationship you need to look inside yourself and find even the smallest thing you know to uh make you happy in that moment because this is what you've asked for this is what you prayed for so you need to in some ways be grateful for it um, and you also need to only focus on the things that you can control. Do not worry about, um, you know, what your specific person is doing or not doing and only examine what you are doing is the best for you and is the best for your relationship. And your last card is the Ten of Wands reverse. So just like I saw a lot of reverse energy, I'm also, again, this is a reverse car, a lot of reverse energy. You need to, you know, let go some of those emotional blocks. But I'm also seeing a lot of 10 energy, like the, the Wheel of Fortune is 10 energy, the 10 of Swords, 10 energy. Now the 10 of Wands is also the 10 energy. And 10 symbolizes completeness. And it means that, you know, your hard work is paying off. So trust the process. So the 10 is like the end of the cycle in the beginning of a new cycle. So this 10 of swords represents that you are no longer have to do it all yourself. Um, 
the universe your guides your spirit they're they're gonna start doing picking up some of the work for you you know you see this man on this card he's struggling to carry all of these wands and it's taking a toll on him and i i can tell that what you've been going through with this person it's been taking a toll on you mentally and emotionally and you know this reverse means that you no longer have to carry this burden you no longer have to carry the burden of making this relationship work on your own not only is your guys going to help you your person is going to start helping you and they're going to start putting in more effort time and energy into this relationship so like the tough time is is ending and you're about to see that light at the end of the tunnel so um that is the overall message i am getting from these cards is that you should wait for your specific person because the tough time is over and a renewed relationship is about to begin with them so it's time for you to release that old emotional baggage that you have from that pre previous relationship that you had together so that you can rebuild a new and stronger foundation for this relationship and it will not be easy but it will be well worth it so i hope you enjoyed this reading and to affirm it right below i have faith and good fortune every day and if you would like a personal reading from me, make sure you head to joybyjanelle.com or click the link in the description box below. If you would like a little bit more information about what is next for you and your specific person or you want some more specific details, head to my website and I will definitely help you out. And to get access to any of my old meditations and my new meditations, and to get early access to my readings because I do post readings about a, a day earlier on my Patreon than I do on YouTube. But also to get access to readings that I can't necessarily post on YouTube because of the, the type of content that it has. It's a little bit more explicit on my Patreon uh, page. So if you would like access to this or if you just want to help support uh, fellow content creator head to my patreon um by clicking the link in the description box below so i hope that you have a wonderful day and i will see you in the next reading